today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can use the WIS. So first off, you're going to be greeted by this screen. You just want to hit OK and then you can select your vehicle. We're going to choose a 93 model year 2004. Once you have done this, you can see that the information on the left has changed, but there's no information on the right. So the way this works is that you can select here from the left which part of the car you want to take a look at. Let's just try to maybe take a look at the footbrake system. And now you can see that you can select the symbols up here in the top. First off, we start with the technical data, which is basically the tightening torques as an example. Uh, you also see the brake discs used or you actually use the pads and stuff like that. Then you have like the tools, which is not really interesting most of the time because these are sub-specific and you don't really need them most of the time at least. Um, then you have the technical description. So how does the system actually work? How is everything wired together? And uh, then we actually have instructions on how to replace or maybe adjust certain parts. As an example, let's say we want to change the front brake disc. We have instructions to remove them and to fit it. And maybe you can see the little arrows here. You can use those to actually change the pictures. And you also see the numbers. So basically the instruction steps are shown in the pictures and you can just browse through this by using these little arrows. And you also see we have all the information you need for the job always at hand. This is really handy. So I highly do recommend if you are gonna tackle a job and you don't really know how to do it, just do it however this describes it. Uh, then we also have the component location for those who need it. And we also have a wiring diagram as an example. These are for the stoplights. So here we can see how everything is basically wired together. And as you can see, you can zoom in with one left click and you can zoom out by using this button. And you can also use the arrows here, by the way, to browse to certain parts or jump to certain information. And a general thing, which might look a bit weird, is this one. And what this basically is, is the bulletin. So let's say there was some issue SAP has noticed or some um, fabrication problem or whatever. And they sort of knew this could be a problem at some point. It is covered by the bulletin. So when you have a weird issue which you are not able to really narrow down and you're not really sure and, and how to describe it or what to look for. Or let's say you have something going on with the brakes. Okay, let's say, let's say we have something going on with the brakes. You should always take a look at the bulletins. Even if you're just a regular maintenance, just take a look and see, could my car be affected by this issue or by this thing described here? Always do it. So um, these are the most handy things. Or uh, let's say we also have this one. This is fault diagnosis. And this also sort of leads to how to narrow down an issue. We're gonna, we're gonna do this in a moment. Now the question is, um, what do you do when you have, let's say, a fault code from the engine? You got a trouble code, or you read it out, and now, now you're going to do what with it? So I had someone ask me, hey, I have a P0001, or oh, wait, P0001, P0, Jesus, I'm not a native speaker, you have to forgive me that. But anyways, so he asked me for this fault code, and you can just look it up. And now you see all the enable criteria and then the fault criteria which triggers this uh, fault code and how to diagnose it and sometimes you also have this which is the fault trace mode and this takes a little while now hold on ah here we go and basically you can already see this thing it uh, describes on how you can diagnose or let's say troubleshoot a certain fault code and in our case it's telling us hey check if everything is all right you know if air can get through if any leaks from the hoses and let's say now it's yes then it tells us to change this component and then we can click this arrow and it's gonna show us all the information we need for the mass airflow sensor so um, this is pretty much how it works it's really not that difficult and it's actually quite easy once you've understood it Let's do another one. Let's say 
the USB document searcher there in the top, we got uh, misfires, multiple misfires. So this is the phone code for it. And uh, where we can see the criteria and how it sort of describes everything. And now we go to the phone trace mode again. Oh, hold on. Sometimes you have to close this. Let's do it again. Uh, that's, now it's acting up a bit. Hold on. We, we, we're going to get there eventually. Uh, here we go now. And uh, yeah, it's going to ask us any of these uh, fault codes stored. Now let's say no. When it tells us to continue with this, is everything okay? Let's say yes. Then what do you recommend next? And so on and so on. So if you really have no idea what you have to look for, ask the WIS. It is always there to help and assist you. And from my experience, the uh, guides and the steps recommended here are basically very well done. You will always be able to narrow down your issue if you follow this correctly and precisely.